I'll be spending 200 days in Minecraft Hardcore. You guys really like the first 100 days, so I'm back at it again. And I'm going to try to finish my base. I'm also going to build a community structure that they told me to build. And stay tuned to see the end result. Make sure enjoy the movie, guys. So we're going to make ourselves a sheep farm because I need loads of wool for the build. It's suggested by Everyday Dummy. And it's a pan a me riding a panda. My map's Minecraft skin riding a panda, so... I'm gonna make it a really huge panda, like really huge. And yeah, we're gonna start off by making a sheep farm. All we need is some white and black wool. We do need a bit of gray concrete and lime concrete, but that should be really easy to get. So we're gonna make a little hole here. And we can also do the same with this side. So there's six in the middle there on each. Then we can put a redstone torch there with the redstone on top. We put a dispenser here as well, and another one facing the opposite direction. So it should look something like this. Now we're going to place some torches on these sides with a piece of dirt over the top. And we're not going to fill in this bottom part because that we're going to be going under there through a trap door just to refill the shears whenever we need to. Now we can place some leaves on top. And this is just the, like a way to, like, so the grass can still grow and um, it won't affect the dirt. Then we place trap doors here so we can get some sheep inside. So we got some sheep here. Let's, we don't need that one. There was too many, but, but they're all in now. And we got to make sure they're packed properly. So I'm going to try and move them a bit. Okay, there we go. That side looks fine. So now we can start pushing down the trap doors and glass. So we need glass here. And we get pistons right here. And yeah, we can go on top of it and we can push them all down. Do some redstone here. Okay, I think that works. Okay. Now we're gonna place a layer of dirt over the top of it. And this will kind of like, since all the blocks are cramming it, it's gonna shoot all the wool up top. And since all the blocks are taken, we're gonna do a border of leaves as well. And now I'll push it all the way up to the top. Now we can make a wall of leaves and do this around the whole thing. Place a water log leaf here, break the leaf, and then break that leaf there as well. Then we need a hopper and a chest. We can put the chest down here. And I think I have the hopper in my shulker box, so let's get that out. Put one here, and then we can put the leaf back up here. Let's fill it all up with shears. And it's completed. About and right now, as you see, we got some wool. So we added more chest here, and wool is already producing. We got around eight black sheep and six white sheep. Or four white sheep. And we're just going to let it AFK while we finish our base. So we're going to make some fireworks since we don't have any. We're going to get a mending book. And we're going to put mending on our elytra. Since we're going to be need to get a lot of wood, it's better to fly. Day one of three, we start, we're doing another sheep farm, just like a basic one. And this will just be helpful if we need some wool. And yeah, this is just what we're going to do. It doesn't hurt to get extra wool. It'll just make it go quicker. And I'm just going to keep breeding them so we can get more sheep. Now I'm going to start chopping down loads of spruce trees because we need a lot of barrels, wood, everything for our build. After getting all of our wood, we can start building up these little pillars here. Now that we almost finished all the pillars, we're going to start trying to add some stairs to them to give it more a little bit of texture. 
and I'm kind of debating whether I should use spruce or dark oak. Spruce seems like it's a little light for the logs, so I might have to switch that over to dark oak, but we're just going to stick with this for now. And that's all done and it looks pretty good. Now we can start digging out this huge area. We need to make a five by seven room. Um, or five high, five, or seven high, five wide, and it's just really long to the end of the barrels. So this, this took a long time. We also got a cool little time lapse here. And yeah, we finished a couple rows here. And yeah, that took so long. That's the first row done. Now we got loads more to go. All right, we just finished this row as well. <laughs> It's, it's really just, it's really hard just mining over and over again, but we have three more left to go and yeah, we got loads of cobblestone. We got cobblestone for days. We're also going to repair our pickaxe because it did get pretty low. And there we go. It is almost refilled and I think that'll be good enough for, for a while. I'm going to go to my iron farm to see how much iron I'm producing since hoppers is a must have. Like, I need loads of hoppers as well. I think I need over, like, 800 to 900, I think. So, we're going to get started by mining some more. Okay, last little row left for this one, and we are done with this row as well. I think we finished it all, and while we did that, we got a little more iron to go out of mining the last three rows, so that's pretty nice. So we can just fill up the chest, and yeah, we can get some polished andesite because I think, I don't know if there's some sort of redstone signal, but the tutorial I watched said to use polished andesite, so I'll do that. We can make loads of redstone torches and get some comparators, repeaters, redstone torch, redstone, and loads more hoppers and barrels. We're going to start replacing hoppers down here, and we just got to fill up all the little barrels, except for the, yeah, we fill up the top one as well, and we got to go one higher, so, so the comparators can fit inside. So we place three polished andesite here let's break this so we can get a little more room let me place another row and a third row as well place comparators the wrong way let's place it this way there we go we can place redstone here and we actually have to drop down a bit Place it there here and let's grab our comparator since we got caught in the hopper and we place three of these here and we can also just place a third on the wall so it can be easier to mark out if you do there and this is really easy it just takes a lot of redstone so we place three com repeaters here let's break the dirt and we can replace our polished area site three torches I, I messed up here they're supposed to go up one higher and I do change that, so, you know. So let's get started by building the rest. And this is where I replace them because I, I, I knew I placed them in the wrong place, but we got this whole row here done. We haven't done our hoppers yet because I think we should save that for last until we actually got the redstone part of it done. And we're going to go over into a cave because I'm out of redstone. I, I use too much and we're going to need loads more. So we're going to go mining and look for redstone. Let's find some diamonds. 
which is really nice, I guess, in case we get some more smithing templates so we can duplicate them. And we got some more diamonds down here as well. We're gonna use Silk Touch because I don't actually have fortune and we can save it for later. We also got some more redstone as well. So we got loads of redstone and loads of ores. So I think it's time to make loads of comparators for Peters. Let's grab some wood because we need more redstone torches. And then we can make some more repeaters. Let's also make tons of hoppers. And we got a decent amount, two stacks almost. And now we can get started. There we go, we filled all the hopper rows here. And we just need to fill in this last um, sorting system part here. Let's place redstone here. Place more blocks and we can place our comparators. Those are repeaters. Comparators. Now we can place hoppers leading against the comparators. And that should be it. Let's place the torches. And now it's time to repeat this on all the sides. So, yeah, this is going to take a long time. But it will definitely be worth it. And after that row's done, we can finish by placing our redstone torches. There we go. That's two out of six done. And let's just make some more planks. Let's get ourselves some chests. And we can do this for our furnace so we can smelt some cobblestone to stone since we're going to need a lot of stones um, for the comparators and repeaters. I'll place this on top. We're going to grab some coal. And yeah, we can get our stone smelting. Now we got to dig this area out for polished andesite or for andesite and we get polished andesite. And that's, that was right outside our little cave. So we got loads of more redstone materials in here and loads more iron that we can use. Now let's check our wool. We got a decent amount, you know, that's not bad. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer, but we're gonna grab loads of dark oak wood because I think it works perfectly with the spruce log since the darkness is pretty similar and we got loads of logs. So it's time to go home. I'm gonna grab the saplings as well in case we want to bone meal it, but I think we're ready. Let's go make ourselves some chests. Stack there. Let's do this again. We got two stacks. And we got two stacks of hoppers. So that makes a total of two and a quarter, two and a fifth stacks. So we can start filling all this in. And there we go. This is that row done. And this is just, this is like painful, but we have to get it done. We ran out of more redstone. So I'm going to go down a cave underneath my house. I'm just going to dig straight down. And once I hit a deep slate, I'm going to dig around. We finally find a cave and let's take out these zombies. So we don't have to worry about it in the cave. You already see some redstone. So this is already a good cave. don't know if fortune works for redstone but if it does that would be really nice let's grab some diamonds with our silk touch pickaxe and we can also grab some more redstone found some more diamonds and we're going to take the lapis as well and we got 50 58 blocks of redstone we can find a slime chunk which is nice okay so i'm using a schematic for my panda and i think i'm going to put him on the cherry mountain i think that would look really nice and from all the wool from these sheep and our little sheep farm here, we got ourselves loads. We got loads. Um, let me... Okay. I didn't bring any shulker boxes in. I'll just start with um, a couple black and a couple white. 
then we can go over here and i think if you just make this like a bamboo cherry mountain like japanese theme since it goes with the panda theme and why is there a bunny on top of the mountain here it's kind of strange but okay let's just wait yeah okay break the grass we don't need that and we can start placing Panda's looking good so far. We got most of the body done. All we have is the arm and part of the back left and the back of the head. And we should be good. And yeah, this is <laughs> this is really cool. I'm really loving how it looks. And also put it's like right outside my house. So that's really nice as well. But now it's time to get back to making some more redstone. We need loads of redstone torches and we can make loads of comparators and repeaters. Make, let's make some of those and we can get started. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be making 300 days all the way to 1.21 and I'm going to be building what you guys want me to. So any suggestions you have for building, I'll build it. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, guys, and enjoy. So we're gonna place redstone here, I and mean, let's just repeat this on all everything. We need to just get it done. So let's place some comparators, more hoppers, and just a couple more to go. And yeah, this row's done as well. This is taking way more hoppers and redstone than I thought it would, and it's just really crazy. Okay, we got that done. I'll place the hoppers last. Let's take out a zombie from a cave up here. And let's start with this row as well. Place the redstone in. And let's place the hoppers. And the torches. And that row's done as well. We ran out of everything, so let's make one more torch. And there we go, that's finished. We got two more to go. And then we gotta decorate the whole place. And this is the design I came up with. I only did this first row. And it looks pretty neat. I like the dark oak, and it just makes it look so nice. So what we're gonna do first, I'll, I'll just show you guys how to do it. Place some stairs here on the side above the top barrel. Place spruce logs going over the top. Then you can place a slab over here as well, slab above the wood. And I'll just make it to give it more of like a curved texture. And I think it looks really nice. And we can do this to the other side as well. Place three stairs here in between the wood and let's break this pillar as well and let's just build up in the middle. We can do the 
long pillar this way as well. And this will just place more stairs here. And then we can go all the way up to the top and we can finish in the roof and we can start finishing this on every single barrel side. There we go, that is done. We got that finished. And we sort of repeat that on all these sides and we also gotta make a design for this part. So I'm thinking of some dark oak here and kind of make it the same design as that one, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm starting like the design. I think it looks pretty nice. Let's place some slabs and stuff there. And I think that looks really good. So we just gotta copy this on all the sides. There we go, we finished that. And um, I'm loving it, it looks really nice. Now we got all that copied from the front and I just think it looks amazing. So we need to copy the insides on there. But now we can, let's get, since we got some more wool, let's try to finish this panda. And halfway through, I thought of making it a red panda, but that if I do want to change it, that will be something in the future. But we can start gathering some ink sacks and the ink sacks will be used with white or for black dye and white dye to make light gray concrete or gray concrete. And that'll be for the claws and eyes. There we go, we got some gray dye. We still got some sand and gravel so we can get ourselves gray concrete. And I think 32 might be enough. Might have to get more, but if we do, that's all fine. Let's make it into concrete instead of the powder. And we can get started by adding some claws in. Okay, let's add some claws here. And I was afraid to leave the chunk because <laughs> um, it might have would have ruined the schematic. So I didn't want to ruin that. But we can place the rest of the claws in here. We can also start by finishing off the back of the head as well. That would be one less thing to worry about and it will make the panda look even better. I'm gonna chop down some spruce trees so we can get started with our next project. And we're also gonna finish the panda here. We're just missing a couple more wool, but that's okay. We can always get it later. And he is looking amazing. All we gotta do is finish the side of his head there and also give him some bamboo. Which is just lime concrete, green concrete, and some oak leaves. Let's make some uh, powder. And we got some cactus smelting and we can get some more concrete. It's gonna be weird to add it, but it was designed I designed it weirdly but it should be okay and there we go we finished it and I'm gonna say he looks amazing he looks really cute and this is the I took away the schematic outline and he looks amazing I could always add large things of bamboo on this I can make this like a panda mountain but I think it looks really nice And now we can start building our more redstone and just up upgrading our little storage area. So we got some stone in here that we can use and let's just make some more repeaters and comparators. Creeper blew up my little area, which is really sad because um, there's no bite up here. So 
I now I know to add torches, but it was pretty sad. But let's finish our build here. And let's just place some andesite as well. More redstone and more hoppers. Now that that's done, we're we're gonna be happy. We're gonna be happy. We're gonna take a break of redstone for a bit, and we're just gonna recreate the design in the storage rooms to to all the sides. And we got loads of iron from our farm. And let's bring this back to the chest so we can get some more hoppers. And we need four more chests. We're going to place some trees here. And we're going to show us loads of wood. This will be nice for all the chests and stuff. And I think that's good for all the trees. So we got like seven, eight stacks of spruce wood. And now it's time to go home. And we can make tons of hoppers. We got two, two and a bit stack. And here we got some extra chests. We just need to wait for iron. So let's fill this all in. And we didn't get there far enough. We got a little more to go. And yeah, we just got to wait for iron to, to just produce. And let's make ourselves. We got an unbreaking three fishing rod, which also gave it luck of the sea and lore. And we can get some fish. <laughs> but we got an olive shell. But instead of fishing, we actually just killed some salmon in the ocean. And let's try to tame a cat. There we go. We got ourselves a cat. And it just looks... I just really wanted to tame an animal. Okay, for the roof, I think this design looks really good. I gave it like a little arch right here. And hopefully this will look well. And I just need to repeat this on all sides and there we go we have that design and now we just need to figure out what we should do in the middle here i might just extend the slabs all the way or maybe add some sort of texturing there we also got to do the same for this part and i don't know what to do for this walls yet i don't know what's gonna look good but i looked at yellow concrete but i feel like it needs to be like a lighter color than yellow <laughs> if there is a lighter color and i think that'll just look better now i think this looks good for the ceiling with the stripped oak and the oak stairs and slabs i think that looks really good like this so i'm gonna try to replicate it on all sides And I'm actually gonna keep the oak stuff here because it actually looks, it gives it more texture and I think it looks way nicer. But we're gonna need some more oak wood and then we can actually try to finish our whole entire area. Okay, we got a lot down. We just filled this up with some dark oak slabs and this only fills up like 126 storage items, 126 items or blocks. So I'm thinking I should maybe expand by going higher. Since if I go down here, it will interrupt my farm. So that's something, that, something I gotta think, think about. So I might have to extend it, but for now I'm gonna check the iron farm. Cause we need loads of hoppers, we need so many. I need like 700 and something hoppers. And we do have a lot of iron. It's actually pretty good. Let me have that my inventory and I'm gonna collect the rest. Okay, we got a good amount of iron. So I think I finished half of my hoppers I need. And I think I need 350 more if I'm not mistaken. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. 
here. We got a lot of iron and we got loads of chests. So we can make 48 here and we do have a lot of wood. That's why I chopped down all these trees so I can get some logs. Let's see how much we got. There we go. Another stack. And <clears throat> we got quite a lot, but let's still try to get more. Let's use all the wood we have. And now we can fill them all in. Okay, we did manage to finish all these hoppers, but I'm gonna need a lot more to actually go around my whole entire place. Cause it has to be like a little system up here. And I think I'm gonna like make a chamber here that shoots item all the way up here. And then it will go around some water and then go into hoppers and then, you know, it will start going into all these chests. For my filter block, I don't think you can use normal dirt um, and rename it because that might, I've heard that actually breaks it. So if I'm going to use, if I'm never going to use a block again, I think the best thing would do would be dead fire coral blocks. Cobblestone walls might be better because I, I don't know what I'll ever use it for. So if I just give me all the stone and I just make cobblestone walls. I think that will work out. Let's rename it to subscribe. And that's gonna cost me a level, but that's fine. So I'll just redo this to all of them. And second thought, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna have enough levels for it all. But let's actually bring the shulker box with me with some walls. And I guess I'll kind of show you how it works. And I think it's going to be filtered in this one. <clears throat> so we can put... I think it was one, two, three, then 41 of these in here. Then we put a gold in here. And it will stay like this. So any gold you put in, it will go down. And at the bottom barrel, it should appear. Or does it go on the top? Uh, okay, there was a dirt block here. As you see, one in the bottom one. So that's exactly like what we need. Okay, I think I got it to work. So there should be no... Okay, that that worked. Um, so I, had, I just put a little bit of hoppers over the top of the comparator hoppers. And that seemed to fix it. So this is going to be redstone, gold, diamond. So, and that worked, so... Next, I gotta place hoppers all around the top, and that will. Then we have our next issue of finding a way to put it in a chest and then making it rise up. I could use a dropper clock, but that will kind of be loud, and I don't know if I want that in my storage room. Yeah, think about if I should build a second floor, and that's about it. So this is what I come up with for a staircase to the second floor. I gotta go up instead of down because of my farm over here. But I got this little neat spiral staircase, which works perfectly with the dimension of the roof. But the bad thing is I gotta go, let's see, four, five, six, seven, I'm gonna say nine high. And I gotta recreate this whole entire room. Okay, I had to make another layer of dark oak um, planks, and I made the staircase like this. So I give it kind of like a little roof here, just so it's not a big gap. I think it looks really nice. And then I'm gonna have to make the pillars here, but we got this whole room done. It took a long time, but now we gotta make column here, 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 and let me check up here. I don't think I checked up here yet. Yeah, that goes into my cave, so that can't be a direction. But the other ways can be, so we should start digging and getting that done.
Now we're going to go to our spruce trees and, you know, we're just going to get loads more wood. Because we're going to need a lot for this next part. Okay, I think this is enough wood for now. And we can always get more later since we have a bone farm. And, yeah, I think it's just time to start building our second layer. Okay, what I did now is I just did what I did in the lower level and I just put some stairs here and this is the design that it was stairs like this on every single pillar with this and then I just got to add more stairs and details to it now we can start cutting down more trees because we need loads more dark oak for our second floor and let's get started with the second floor we got loads of wood so we can start placing all these little barriers in and then we can get started by finishing the whole roof okay now that's done we got our barrels here let's just take away all the dirt so it doesn't get in our way We already placed our items frames for what they're going to be, just so it can help me out. And let's start placing all the barrels in. And we're out of barrels now. We finished about half of it. So time to go back to Lumberjack Spruce Wood. And we got loads of wood, so let's make ourselves some slabs. We also got some planks, and we can make loads of barrels. get those barrels making let's fill them all in and we finished that but it's we still gotta get the top of it i've come up with such a great idea so let's just say do you know like how these are like six tall I've got some new item frames here and i have it in the middle row so let's give an example for bottles i'm never gonna have six um full barrels full of bottles or um six membranes or six obsidian so that i've come up with is if you go behind here we can actually, um, we actually have to make something new here. So let me grab my materials and let's just get those out of the chest so we don't forget them. And then we actually have to destroy this top part and we actually have to move it back one. And then we can put some hoppers connecting to these hoppers and I mean this is pretty much it it's the same thing just backed up by one so if I were to do do this there's blocks in the way so this will go in the second shulker box yep polished andesite dirt and this so if we just do the same thing like hopper over the top of you know we do a hopper up here we could also do one down here as well. And like after it goes around, we can make it. We can after it goes around this way, we can make it like go down a couple over here, then back this way. And we can do that so we can get stuff in this one and the top one. So if I were to do this from the top. Would that make it to the bottom? Okay, it doesn't look like it, which is actually good. Because we don't want it to go to the bottom. Yes, dude. Okay, that works. So while it goes all the way around, it will come back here. And I put some repair, the repeaters, comparators, and there. And that should go to the bottom. Okay, we, we got that to a weight. Okay. Why is there and this side? Maybe that was in the filter before when I tested. Let's try that again to be sure. Okay, we got that to work. So now this filter is complete. We just gotta add the little system across the whole top of this part and we should be good. And we're gonna read fill this all in like we did downstairs and we're just gonna copy the same design and this should hopefully look good.
I'm going to copy the front of it and start making the pillars for the roof that we can get done. All right, we got all, all done. It looks really good. So the last thing we're gonna do is add some chains. If I can actually place them properly. There we go, it's all done. I don't know what to do over here. I'm still thinking about it. I don't know what can actually go here since it's so close to my house. It would have to be like really compact, maybe like a smeltery. And then I need to make a wall for the back. I need to change the floor to be dark oak. Remove all the torches. Make like a giant chandelier so it can give a light source. And yeah, big progress. All right, just finished crafting all of my stacks of comparators, repeaters. We got a little bit of hoppers, but that's not going to be enough for sure. So what I can do is I can, yeah, we can get 30 more. So that's it decent amount but uh, we should start getting working on our redstone and let's finish off with the torches and there we go that side is done after coming back from chopping loads of trees we can actually Start getting loads of iron and we can start making loads of chests. And we have all of our hoppers. We got so many. Um, now we can just start our build again. And now we're out of andesite. So yeah, we got to go mining for more. Let's just go mining for more redstone as well. Um, since we're going to need a lot more of that. Make some more polished andesite because we need a lot more of that. And let's make us some more repeaters and comparators. I'm thinking a stack might be good enough of each. And we got loads of torches already. We got some polished andesite and loads of redstone and hoppers. Let's finish off with the torches again. And by the way, guys, I think this is like, I need to extend it for every single item in the game. So I might have to extend this in the future. And hopefully it's not this difficult, but we got loads of iron from our farm. And we can make loads more hoppers with this as well. Now let's fill in all the barrels with hoppers. And let's chop down loads more trees because we're out of chests. So gotta go chop some more trees. Place the hoppers here. Okay, guys. Um, I think I got it to work. So before there was a little issue with like the thing. I, I need to, I needed to take away these hoppers with the empty item frames because it would get caught in it. But I'm putting all the cobblestone in this chest, and it all should just be like we got some diamonds in here already, and cobblestone should be filling up, and it is. So that's working perfectly. And anything that just doesn't get filtered would go in this chest so not well, that hasn't happened right now so I, I did have to change the back side of this it was acting a bit weird and i just take away a row of hoppers i mean we got more copper right here and now i'm going to go to the nether for a little bit of action since i've been doing some mining and building all these days so I'm going to go try to get some more netherite and hopefully some more smithing templates. So I think we should head off in this direction over here and see where we can go. We found a nether fortress. Time to go inside. And I forgot to put on my chest plate. This part is a little scary. I get put to one and a half hearts. And I have the wither effect and I need to smack this guy. And now it's time to just block myself off. And this was really scary. Luckily, I survived. And I'm going to put on my chest plate and I'm going to eat some bread. That was a close call. Find a bastion. And let's, let's just break inside. 
when we make it and we found a chest and it just had some bone blocks magma cream and iron so it wasn't too good but let's just grab it anyway in this chest we found a golden apple and some gold and we also got ourselves some not so good loot. it was it was not that good but we did find a smithing template and ancient debris down here down one of the tunnels and we found ourselves a second bastion later on and it was a treasure bastion so i'm hoping to find ourselves a smithing template first let's take out the brutes and we can make our way all the way down and let's destroy the magma cream spawner or magma cube spawner then we can go down and gather all the riches It's always funny how that one piglin is just making that boinking noise, but let's grab the smithing template, netherite ingot, iron, gold, and we also found a diamond mending sword, which is really nice. We're going to grab that, and it's time to go back home. When we make it back home, I think we should finish up our base, so let's gather up some more dark oak wood. And we gotta try to replace all of our floor, the cobblestone floor, and let's make that all the way into dark oak planks. And then we can add some sort of carpeting texture with glowstone on the floor so we can take away all those torches. So we're gonna break all this floor out and put dark oak planks. We're just gonna put some carpet here and I got a little bit of glowstone underneath it. You can kind of see where it lights up. But we're also going to do the same here and let's just block all this up. And I think it looks really good. And we did the same to the second floor. And this is what I got the end result to look like. I got the little more glowstone in the middle so mobs don't spawn. And anything that goes in the chest will get transported. And I don't have any storage for that. So that's a future thing we have to do. But this is complete. Okay, guys, I made one final change, so I managed to do it. So everything that is like on the top shelf, let me just quickly move this down. Anything that was on the top shelf will now go to the third shelf. And I, I want to, I will, I'll admit it, I am pretty stupid. So I had this on the same row. All I had to do was make this go back one and make this one go back one. So now it can all go in the top three rows and these can go on the bottom. So I got that to work really nicely. And now I got loads more storage for stuff I didn't have storage for. So you put it in the, this one, and it goes all the way up in this one, or this is where it ends up, if it doesn't have space. So we got this really nice to work. And yeah, that's it. I'm on day 200. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And comment what you want me to build, because I'm down to build whatever you guys want. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.